Today I'm installing the Victron Energy Lynx Distribution System. This is The Bus Life. All right, guys, today I'm making a few more adjustments on our electrical system. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. What have we here? So one of the changes I'm making on our electrical system is adding another bus bar. So this is the Victron Energy Lynx distributor. I'm in the electrical bay right now of the bus and I've already made some changes in here since the video I made of this complete install. I will put the link to the video I made for installing all of this equipment in the video description, so check that out. Right here, there used to be some current surge limiters. I talked to Battleborn and found out that I don't need to have those, so those have been taken out of the system. There's water coming through my plumbing. The dishwasher is working. So when I did the install on this, I used one aught cable. I did find one cable that looked like it had been getting hot, so I have opted to go with four aught cable which I bought this roll of 4 aught cable. I'll put the link for it in the video description. So rather than having my inverters come off my bus bar, which is here, so I got this. This is the Victron Energy Lynx Distribution Center where my bus bar was only handling 250 amps. This is gonna handle 1,000. I plan on running my main power from my battery to here, and that should even up my power distribution a lot better. Give me more peace of mind that I'm giving the system the proper power it needs to function properly. So let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and open this up and get it mounted. All right guys, to kind of give a walkthrough of what we have here, we have our positive post here and we have um, these lugs here. These will have fuses that bridge these gaps and then when you lift these up, you've got all the negative posts that are under here. And if you're using a large gauge wire, you will want to take these, these spacer pieces out. All right guys, so I got that installed. Um, installs very easily just four screws and now i'm ready to go ahead and make my 12 volt connections into it so another piece of this puzzle i've changed is i'm adding a new on off switch this on off switch here is rated for 600 amps continuous the last one i had was only rated for 200 um, so this is a much bigger and better unit i'll put the link for this in the video description so that if you need to get a bigger one you can as well so the next thing I'm gonna to have to do is actually make some more connections onto my, my wire, my four aught wire. Um, I got this wire on Amazon. I'll put the link for it in the video description. I also have to get a new wire crimper, this one right here. And this wire crimper is a hydraulic wire crimper. Uh, I'll show you how it works, it's pretty simple. The wire crimper I had got for doing all of this behind me isn't big enough for this new cable that I'm gonna be putting in. So I would have been better off buying this crimper to begin with because it does really small cable all the way down to the really big cable. The largest cable this will do is a four aught, which is what we're gonna be using today. Um, but it goes all the way down to like a six gauge wire, which is that size right there. I will put the link for it in the video description. So I got two packets of these copper terminals here. These are four aught terminals. Each packet contains only eight of these. I got these on Amazon. They come with the heat shrink protection on it and I'll put the link for these in the video description. So let's attach these to some cable. Okay, so one thing I noticed is I've got my wire crimped here, but if I pull on this, I think I can actually get it to slip out. 
being that it doesn't feel extremely snug in there to me, I'm gonna switch this to a three-aught and see if I can crimp it down harder. Okay, that feels a lot more solid. So from here on out, I'm gonna use the, the three-aught crimp for my four-aught cable. That feels much more solid than the last one did. And now I can put my shrink tape on there. So the terminal posts on this on-off switch are a bit bigger than the terminals I got. So I'm actually just drilling those out a little bit bigger so that they will fit onto those posts. All right, so one thing I just noticed about the links is you have to hook up your ground wires first, then you tie in your positive wires. So Erebus has decided to come out here and help me. So Erebus insisted on taking her boots off so that she could help me, right? Yep. So how am I supposed to keep working if you're sitting on my lap? Because I help you. You are? Yeah. What are you helping me do? Um, helping you work on this and the kids are out there. Yep. My little helper is no longer here. So I'm going to continue on. I've got my ground right here that goes to my inverter on the left. So I have my wire that's gonna be going to this inverter connected into the Lynx distribution uh, system. And I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how long this cable needs to be, put my connector on it, and then I can connect it into my inverter here. Okay, so I'm about to make my last cable that will go to my inverter over here on the right side. Now, I only got 10 foot of this wire and I'm gonna have just enough. So if you've got a lot more distance to cover, you need to factor that in for your the amount of wire that you're gonna get. Fortunately, most of my components are pretty close to each other. So that like has really helped All right guys, I'm connecting in my last inverter cable. All right guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm connecting in my last wire that's gonna go to the ground of my bus bar and then the positive this one will go to the positive of the bus bar and that will service everything else like my fuse panels and things like that and this wire is going to my positive bus bar Actually, one of the things I really like about this distribution system is the way the wires kind of sit in this groove and it kind of is like a cup for it to rest into and that will keep the wires like straight. It, they won't be moving around. Thank you. 
these little round holes here are for lights to light up, but you have to have an additional shunt that um, Victron sells in order for that to work. I have those screwed down. So my helper's back. Erebus. What? Doing. Well, I was working on this system. All right, so let's turn our switch on. And we've got power now going from our batteries to our entire system up here. The Lynx distributor is a beast. <laughs> I like the design. I like it much better than kind of the conglomerated uh, thing I had going on with my bus bar over here. There was just too many things on it. All right, so I've got everything turned on. Everything seems to be functioning properly. Um, I've done a couple tests. Everything is working. Right now, I've unplugged our shore power. We're running solely off of battery power. Everything seems to be working well. A couple other things I want to mention that I added to this system is these smart dongles. So these smart dongles here enable you to monitor the inverters from your phone. I can open the Victron app and I can see everything that's going on with my system. I can see my, my smart solar chargers. I can see my two 3000 watt inverters. So everything is functioning well. This distribution center was fairly easy to install and it's doing basically what I need it to do. Nice new switch here, which is working great. So I hope that helps you guys with your electrical system. If you're doing one similar to this, I'm gonna put the links to all this in the video description. I'll even put the links to all this stuff in the video description. The batteries are absolutely amazing. We're loving the batteries and our whole solar system. It's, it's been, it's been awesome. Be sure and drop us a comment. Let us know what you think. Ask any questions you may have. If you're looking to do something similar, I'll try to answer when I can. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell if you want to be notified every time we post a video. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. It helps us. So God bless you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.